Hey guys, well, hello there. All right, so if you're watching me for the very first time, my name is Adiola, and in today's quick live workshop, I'm going to be going over the reason why you need to be on Pinterest starting today and why Pinterest is, uh, you know, such a powerful platform and why it's my favorite platform to drive traffic over Instagram, Facebook, and any other social media platform out there. All right, so um, for those that are gonna be joining me, if you can just do me a quick favor and just share this video out on your Facebook profile so that your other friends can also learn what you are about to learn. And if you can also just leave a comment to let me know who is watching and where you are watching me from. All right, so let's get right into today's workshop. All right, so what should you be on Pinterest like today, right? Now, in this um, chart, so you can see that I've compared Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, just to show you, you know, why I love this platform, right? So number one is that Pinterest is a visual search engine, right? So because a lot of people think that it's a social media platform, and for me, when I when I first got my Pinterest profile, I actually thought it was a social media platform as well, right? So I use my my Pinterest the same way that I use my Facebook page and the same way that I use my Instagram page. And I was wondering, okay, why am I not getting traffic or why am I not even getting any traction to my site? Hi, Jerry, thanks for watching. All right, so, but then when, uh, but then Instagram and Facebook are social media platforms, meaning that people go on Facebook and Instagram to be entertained, right? But people go on Pinterest to be educated. So again, depending on the kind of platform you're on and whatnot, then, you know, Pinterest might actually be a great platform for you, right? And then the next reason why I love Pinterest and why you should be on Pinterest over any other platform is that it has unlimited reach, unlimited reach, like, I mean, millions of reach. Now, for example, for my hair uh, profile on Pinterest, right now I only have about 7,000 followers, but I reach over 1 million people per month, right? So because right now I get about 1.5 million uh monthly page views on my Pinterest profile, even though I only have 7,000 followers. Now, on Instagram, I, you know, Instagram, the reach can be as low as 10% or even less. Facebook, it can even be way less than 1% because sometimes I post something on my Facebook page and only my, even though my Facebook page has over 4,000 people, but only sometimes 20 people will see that post right? Like that's ridiculous, right? So for me, I mean, that's the reason why I just prefer to use Pinterest because you don't really need a lot of followers. Like Pinterest isn't based on followers because it's not really a social media platform. And then the next reason why I love Pinterest is that right now, right now as of November 1st, 2018, right? It is, it is completely free of charge, right? And the reason why I've actually been working on pushing uh, as many bloggers as possible to get Pinterest right now is because Pinterest has paid ads like Facebook and Instagram, right? And I'm thinking maybe what's going to happen in the future is that they might start reducing the reach that you get so that you can pay money, more money to get more reach, right? So right now, while Pinterest is still free, you might as well hop in and get as much uh, benefit from it as possible, right? So that's why right now I'm just working on building up my, you know, my my follower base, my income, my traffic, and everything as much as possible right now before Pinterest starts asking people to pay up, right? But with Instagram and Facebook, you you know, to get more reach and stuff, you usually have to pay pay influencers, and those guys are not cheap, and and sometimes. You know, the few times that I've tried Instagram influencers, I actually didn't even get uh, my return on investment back, right? So sometimes it can be quite expensive and discouraging. And it's the same thing with Facebook as well, right? You need to pay Facebook ads to be able to reach more people. Now, the next reason why you need to be on Pinterest is that you get genuine 
and organic reach and organic followers, right? Whereas with Instagram, people buy followers, they buy, you know, they buy all sorts of stuff, right? And with Facebook, it's the same thing as well. You know, you, you use Facebook ads, even though there's nothing wrong with it, right? But I would rather go through the free route <laughs> right now, right? And then, and then another reason why I love Pinterest and why you should use Pinterest is that unlike Instagram, right, every single thing, every single click, save, reach, and whatnot are genuine. So no bots, no no paid likes, follow for follow, and spammy comments, and all sorts of things that you see on Instagram. Such thing doesn't exist on Pinterest because you are dealing with genuine people who are looking to be educated, right? Whereas with, with the other social media platforms, people are just looking for a way to kill time, right? To be educated, to be, be entertained. And the last two key points are my favorite. Right? And the reason why actually like in the past, you know, like, you know, pretty much all this year, I've actually been spending more time on my Pinterest profile you know, than my other social media platforms, especially more than my Instagram and even Facebook page combined, is because the lifespan of a post on Pinterest can go up to three years or even way more than that, right? Because why? Because it's, it's a search engine, right? So for example, sometimes when you go on Google and you search for something, right? Sometimes a post from like, you know, 2015 or 2014 can come up, right? And, you know, that just shows you the power of search engine. But with Pinterest and Instagram, you know, it can be as little as five to 10 minutes. Sometimes if your followers don't even see your posts at all, like nothing. And the last reason why you need to be on Pinterest right now is because the algorithm favors you. Pinterest algorithm actually favors you. Whereas with Instagram and Facebook, sometimes people get, uh, shadow band <laughs> right for using too many hashtags or whatnot or with facebook let's say you know you post too many links and you're always like follow me now comment below like call to action right facebook doesn't like that because facebook wants you to keep people on their profile because facebook make like they make money through ads right so if you are telling people oh click on this link to go here click on that link to do that facebook do not like that right so, but with Pinterest, Pinterest actually want to send people away from their platform. Like, that's ridiculous, right? So that's why right now, like, I think every blogger should be on Pinterest right now while it is still free and while Pinterest actually favors you and while Pinterest actually wants to send people away from their platform, right? So if you aren't on Pinterest yet or you have Pinterest but you're not really sure about it, you know, you're you know, uh, you're not really sure how to go about it, right? Make sure you get, number one, you get uh, Pinterest. And if you are on Pinterest already, I'm going to be posting a link where you can download my free checklist that's going to help you to optimize your Pinterest profile so that you can get more traffic to your site. And I'm also going to be posting another link where you can get the pre-sale uh, to my Pinterest course, uh, you know, where I'm actually going to be diving deep into how to set up you know, an optimized Pinterest account and so many ways you can use Pinterest to, you know, drive traffic to your blog and to make more money. All right. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below and, and I'm going to come back and answer your question. All right. Take care and have a good day.